An incidental flossmas with some very sad news on the first day of Christmas. My little needle workshop here in San Antonio has been for the past years. I can't even tell you how many years I've been going to the store. Um, Stitches from the Heart has announced that they will be closing. So there was, I think there was a newsletter or something that came out last year that had mentioned that they were looking for someone to buy the store. I remember this because I said, oh, I could buy it, <laughs> but I really couldn't. Uh, at that time, I was living in the Bahamas. I was super sad because I knew that it was going to be coming, you know? Last week, I went to Stitches from the Heart to get two pieces. No, I'm sorry, I lied. A month ago, I went to Stitches from the Heart to frame two pieces, which I will be showing soon. Um, and I went last week, ah, I've been working on another project, which I will show. I promise that this is kind of like a quick video, but everything that I'm mentioning and not talking about, I will be talking about in a floss tube soon. Um, I was missing a couple materials, so I went in last week, and um, I went in last week and I had mentioned that um, I was curious to see if my Mermaid of Atlantis that I always talk about and have never showed live here either, but will be showing soon, if they could fix a couple things because the big Mill Hill beads were turned. And so I wanted to see if they could add a spacer into the frame, but since I hadn't picked up the piece and it was like a year ago, anyway, long story, of course, long because that's me. Turns out that last week, Monday last week, um, they told me, yeah, we'll take a look at it, but bring it in soon, like as soon as you can. I thought it was weird, but again, it, it was like one of those, ugh, I really hope they're not closing. Like they can't be closing, but the, you get like this inkling that you think that it's gonna happen, but you're not 100% sure, so that's kind of what happened. So yesterday I was scrolling on Facebook and on their Facebook page, they announced that they were finally closing their doors and announced that today was gonna be day one of 40% off the entire store. So while my heart is super, super sad about the closing of a little needle workshop and specifically mine, with the one that I've always considered mine, um, I was, very, it was like a bittersweet. Like I was excited to be able to go and see if I could hit up some really good deals at 40% off. So today's video is going to be my haul because I already did it. Um, I likely will be going back again on Monday just to pick through like kidding up projects. I need to sit down and kind of organize my projects that I know for a fact I'm gonna stitch and see what I'm missing so that way I can go Monday and pick through whatever is left of their fancy flosses and silks and things to just add, to be kitted. Not necessarily to my stash per se, but kidding. So all kidding aside, <laughs> really bad joke. Um, I'm going to show you what I got. I will tell you, I spent $1.99 36 on all that I'm about to show you. Um, there are two pieces in here that were not 40% off. They were actually store models. Um, I don't know, for me it was like, what better way to remember your little needle workshop than to purchase a couple models when you have a home that you need to decor, eight decor. And it, it's, it's so funny. I'm going on another rant before I show you all my stuff. But um, as you may know, if you've been following me a while, I per What are you barking at? Kim Chi's barking at a bowl. So I personally do not have any finished objects or fully, well, I have full, ah, I have finished objects. I don't have any fully finished ob objects um, besides my biscornu that I've shown in a couple of videos. But in every home that I visit, because right now I'm only visiting 
my immediate family homes, um, there is a piece of my needlework in their homes. So in my in-laws house, they put up their Christmas tree and I have my two nutcracker finishes from last year, literally like in the middle of the tree. I didn't put them there, they put them there and she made it a point to say, those are my favorite pieces from the tree. Um, in my sister's house, I have Mermaid of Atlantis. At my mom's house, I have this other project that I think I've shown before. Uh, I think it was called A Day Off, and it's a big piece that I gave to her for her 50th birthday. In this house, I have several pieces. Um, and they bring me so much joy, not because they're, well, how do I put this? Like, if I had those pieces up in my house, I don't think I would feel so good. I don't think I would feel as good as I feel when I see my work in other people's homes. Now I know what it feels like to be on the other side to have two models. I'm gonna show them right away. So I picked up these two models. I don't know who stitched them. And they don't have any names on it, which I'm super sad about. But this first one's beautiful. I don't even know whose it is, I don't know what pattern it is, so if you all know, feel free to drop it in the comments. Um, I love the colors, I love the birds, this is framed by them, it's just beautiful. So pretty, the stitching is done beautiful, the tree is beautiful, so a nice little piece of my little needle workshop. This one was $15 and not 40% off. So I paid 15 for this and I happily did it. The framing alone is way more than $15. The materials are way more than $15. I don't know why they sold it at 15, but that's okay. It's coming to me and it'll be treasured forevermore. And then this is another one, which is on a frame and it looks like they did some fabric finished so I have like a good little idea for future smalls too. This one was stitched in 2017. Again, I have no idea who stitched it, what pattern it is. Stitching is beautiful, the finish is beautiful. I'm very excited to have these forever and ever more. I will always remember stitches from the heart with these. So, the, oh, both of them were 15. So that's 30 out of my 199 because these were not 40% off. Ah, uh, my heart. I literally just got back from them. My heart is just like, ah. Okay, what else did I do? You all know that I'm a Mirabilis, bit. you all know that I'm a Mirabilia stitcher and that I have been using on Bluebeard's Mermaid Splendor Silks for the skin for over one stitching. So what I did is I have like a variety pack of them. I went in and purchased all of these. Um, they are normally for $4.50 $4 each. So 40% off of each one. So this is for a stash. I thought I would all of the skin tones. Darker skin, lighter skin. So, I have lots of skin to play with. What else did I get? Okay, random little piece of haul. This is a Krynik Custom Quarter. I know, ooh, I have a glare. But it looks like a fishing rod. <laughs> And apparently you like make cord for finishing. Um, since it's 40% off, it was listed at 18.50, got it for 40% off. So just thought it would be a good tool to have. There were only two of them in the shop and I thought I'll just take advantage of the price. I hope I didn't, like I hope this was a good price because I've never used this before. And we'll see if I use it. So adding it to my Stitcher toolbox. I got a pack of Pat's Favorite needles, uh, this is the size 24. I have a million of the size 26 and 28. So that's 550, 40% off. Another stitcher tool. I got 46 count linen 
Weeks Dye Works Straw. This is for Stash. I bought it with absolutely nothing in mind. And this was $16.25, 40% off. More fabric. This is 32 count Belfast linen, raw white polka dot. Um, I don't have this in my stash. I'm thinking actually for this one, I may use it for um, Mirabilia's Christmas Elf Fairy Kit. Maybe. So I have that. That was $21, so it's a quarter yard. It's quite a bit of fabric, but again, 40% off. And then, oh, I have two more pieces. Another 46 count, it says $32, because I know that I got half a yard. Now, what I don't know is what it was. I know it's Weeks Dye Works, but I don't remember the colorway and this is actually coming up not like it should it has more green it has like a greenish tinge to it like a mossy but it's coming up way tan don't have anything in mind for it but a good piece of neutral the last piece of fabric and I'll talk about this on my floss tube um, I have a project kitted up I have the Sleeping Bee kitted up by um, the Blue Flower. And the fabric that I pulled for it, that's called for, I just wasn't loving it, but I love the finish of it into the box. I'll insert a picture. I love this finish, and so I didn't wanna play with the fabric too much. But I found this 40 count fawn and I think it may be too small, actually. Maybe. But I'm gonna do a little floss toss here and see what I think about this one. So like I said, I'm not convinced. But I'll show you that later. And this was 14. And so 40% off of 14. So that's all the fabric. Fabric, stitchy tools, and the store models. And then the rest are, what charts did I get? So, I got Sirena by Lila Studio. I thought I, I don't know, this is actually the last thing that I grabbed on the way out. Let's look at this again. It's a stitching mermaid. A stitching mermaid. So, this is going to be a nice little piece that I'm going to change the hair color to make it look like my hair color, which is a little variegated. I need to find like the perfect variegated hair color. And this is going to be me. <laughs> and I plan on doing probably 2020, either 2020 or 2019, the year, um, and just commemorate my stitching and my my Hamas channel and just, you know, being a stitching mermaid. <laughs> so I also went ahead and kitted up the Fancy Floss, the Beads, and the Krynik there too. So that was part of my closing haul. Ah. I got this cute little cow. <laughs> it's just so cute. Sometimes like when I see projects, it's not my, I don't like smalls. I don't usually stitch smalls, but there are a few smalls that I just like, Ugh. I'll show you another one in my future floss tube that I just, I started finished and you may have seen it in my Instagram. It's humbug, so cute. So this one gave me the same like, oh my goodness, it's so cute. It's a cow and he has a wreath and a chicken and a stocking and a little tree and it says peace. Ugh, I don't know, I just like, I died. And this is by, this, what is this called? Christmas Cow <laughs> by Plum Pudding Needle Art. So this is a new to me designer. Um, it was 650. 650, so 40% off of that, it went in. I got Plum Street Samplers Sweater Weather. I wanna say this is one of the new releases. 
and I just had finished up hollow weenies and I have a lot of weenies that I'm planning on stitching and I will likely give it to my best friend who has a weenie with my, you know, my little nephew Lucho, but we'll see. That's all kind of just like, it's there if I want to do it. Um, I was getting real sentimental. So this is my stitching treasures and it's a box and it's, it's really nice. This one's by Jeanette Douglas. I hadn't seen it before, but when you look at it and you probably can't see through here, it just, it has a lot of really beautiful stitchy goodness and it has some gourmet stitches as well. Um, gourmet stitches being not just cross stitch, it has different kind of specialty stitches. So I thought, I don't know, I obviously don't have any plan to stitch it anytime soon, but, oh, and it has some buttons. Urgh. We're gonna have to, like charms. It has some charms to it. So I'm gonna have to figure this out and see if I can even still get the charms and kit this up. Jupiter charms. Hmm. And Charlin silver charms. Button and needlework boutique. Is there a button pack for this? That I'm just like not understanding. I need to look into this a little bit more. Yeah, I need to look into this a little more. Then a little cutie the snowman. This is Welcome the Snow. But his little face was just so cute. And this is by Marie Driscoll. Oh, Blackberry Lane Designs. My first Blackberry Lane design. I just, he was a cutie pie. And then the next two are Satsu Mystery. So I had my eyeball on this one for a while. When it came out, this is Santa's Flight. I love the colors. I just, he's in an air balloon. He's just so cute. So I love the colors on this, perfect. And then, so my stepmom's like super obsessed with llamas right now. I've stitched her llamas before, whenever I showed the little small llamas. She has a llama room. Llama stocking. Yes, please. Again, love the colors. She looks fabulous. Oh, look at that tree. And look at everything. So this may be a Christmas present for next year. I think that that's not a bad idea. And that is my Stitches from the Heart haul and closing video. I'm so sad. So plan. Um, I have to go and figure out the whole framing situation with my Mermaid of Atlantis on Monday because the framer wasn't there and it was really busy today. There was a limit of 10 people to go in and out of the store. There was a line that wrapped around the store. Everyone wore masks, socially distant. So as safe as you can be. Um, and like I said, they did a really good job. You had to sign in to go into the store. So kudos, they had hand sanitizer everywhere. Kudos, kudos, kudos. Everything was perfect. Um, but it was just too busy to figure out the framing situation. And so I, decided that I would come back on Monday and see what we can do. If there's anything we can do, um, we'll see. And then I hope to record my Mermaid of Atlantis for you too, so you can see that. Um, and then what else? Oh, and then I wanted to go through, I wanted to go through my classic color works and my current charts, see if what needs kidding up, what I don't have, make a list, go in again on Monday, and pick through whatever over dyed floss they still have. Um, because at 40% off, that's pretty good. I don't think that they're doing phone orders because it's just so crazy busy and they have one cash register and I think it's hooked to the phone. So every time someone calls, it falls. It was just, you know, I'm not 100% sure, but that's what I was hearing. Um, like I said, I'm super sad to see Stitches from the Heart close their doors. Um, I really hope that one day I'll be able to open up my own little shop. Um, 
wherever I am in the world and just share my love and just ah, my stitching. Um, this means that my little needle workshop now has shifted to the Tinsmith's Wife in Comfort, Texas, which is about 40 minutes away from me. Um, it's in the hill country, really cute small town. I do love that shop, but nothing beats a shop 10 minutes away from your house. My husband, on the other hand, is ex not excited. He was very sad to hear that my shop was closing down. But at the same time, he was like, well, you know, it's one more kind of like push for you to go into a new city and try to make your new city a home. So we will be in Houston this week, just kind of checking out the city. And I don't know, we'll see what kind of comes out of that. Um, I hope you all are having a great first day of Christmas. Um, I think I may be able to do some Vlogmas, Flossmas, Flossmas Vlogmas. I incidentally did one today, so I hope to put this up by the end of the day. That would be awesome. Um, and then tomorrow I should be back here and hopefully I can get my act together and record a full on floss tube. That would be really good too. That would be amazing if I could do all of that. But. My battery's running out. I'm gonna close out before it dies and tell you I hope you are all having a great, great, great day. Spread joy, positivity into the world, and I will see you soon with whatever kind of the camera died. So I will see you uh, on my next video of whatever I decide to make. Bye!